Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at using an ESP8266 and Telegram to wake up a computer from anywhere in the world. To achieve this we're going to use something called Wake on LAN. So Wake on LAN is a standard that allows a computer to be turned on by a network message. I couldn't have put it better myself. But in our case the ESP8266 is going to send this network message. Wake on LAN is really useful for saving power on a machine that you want to have remote access to at some stage, but you don't want it on all the time. So it's really useful for remote desktop scenarios or something like that. My use case for making this is a little bit different. It's for wanting to download games on Steam, and I'll go over the exact use case at the end of the video. The ESP8266 part of this project is actually pretty straightforward because somebody has written a library for us. The most challenging part is actually just enabling your computer for wake on LAN at all, so it can receive that magic packet and wake up. I'll show you how I enabled wake on LAN on my Windows 10 machine, but it'll obviously be different for Linux and Macs, and it'll also be different for the different machines as well, because you need to make a BIOS change. This page on how to geek actually gives a pretty good overview of the BIOS changes that you might need to make and also has instructions for how to do it on the different operating systems. Let's start with the BIOS changes. You'll notice in this very nicely captured clip of my BIOS where I tried to justify the purchase of a capture card that I got a few months ago and this is my first time using it, you go into advanced settings first. You then go across to the advanced menu and once you do that, you go down to the APM configuration settings. There is a setting called Power On by PCIe, which you enable. And you can read down the bottom, this actually says that it enables Wake on LAN. Next, we need to enable it in Windows. Open the Start menu and search for Device Manager. When that opens up, we need to expand the Network section of it. Then we need to find our Network card and right-click on it and click Properties. Next we want to click on the Power Management tab and we want to make sure that the following two checkboxes are enabled. Allow the device to wake the computer and only allow Magic Packet to wake the computer. And finally in the Advanced tab there's a Wake on Magic Packet option that we want to make sure is enabled. It was already enabled for me. One thing to note is I mustn't have installed drivers on my machine when I set it up and although my network card was working fine, I didn't have the required tabs. Once I installed the drivers, they showed up. Finally, we need to get the MAC address of this PC. So open CMD and type in ipconfig space slash all. Then you navigate to the physical address section of your network adapter. To copy it onto your clipboard, just highlight the text and then right click. Next, let's take a look at the sketch. This is available on my GitHub page and it'll be linked in the description below. This example is really similar to the Telegram example I did for my daughter's lights project, so I won't go into too much details about the Telegram aspect of it, but if you want more, you can check on that video there and it goes through exactly with how it works. The first thing that we need to do is install some libraries. So the wake on LAN library is first, and this isn't available on the library manager, so you'll need to download it from GitHub and add it as a zip. Next is the universal Telegram bot library. You can install this through the library manager. Just search for Telegram and then look for the one with my name on it. Finally, you need to install the Arduino JSON library. Again, you can search on the library manager for this, but please note that you need to install version 5 of it, so the latest version 5 will work. After that, you need to fill in your Wi-Fi details. You need to put in your bot token that you can get from the bot fodder. Again, that's covered in the previous video. And then finally, you want to set up whatever devices you have here. So here's where you put the MAC address. So I find pasting the actual MAC address beside it is handy. And then you just take it chunk by chunk and paste it into this um, array format here. So if you have multiple devices, you can keep adding to this array. Just don't forget the comma. Or if you only have one device, you can just clear out the second entry into it and that will work fine too. Just make sure to change the num devices to match how many are in this array. The rest of the sketch is actually pretty simple. It's just connecting to the Wi-Fi details 
and then there is some telegram code in here too again that's explained in the previous video and that's basically it when a user comes in and asks for the wake on LAN option they get returned a keyboard that's built up using the data that is in the array above and then when they click on one of those buttons it sends the wake on LAN message to the appropriate device and let's take a quick look at this in action when you click on the command you get a list of the devices that white PC that's going to show up is my old one it's flashing at the moment which means it's in sleep mode and then when you click on the button the magic packet is sent to it and it wakes up you can see it's now solid now for my use case this is the Steam app and it lets you download things remotely but as you can see my PC is off so if I go in here I can click on my new PC and that should wake it up the Steam app is a little bit buggy so it takes a while for it to load up but it eventually does and then you can click downloads remotely or you can get it to update games automatically or whatever now the as I mentioned the Steam app is pretty buggy so like I never seen a change in the percentage of the game downloading but when I opened it up on my PC it was halfway downloaded already and that's it for my ESP8266 wake on LAN device so one thing to note it doesn't turn my PC on from a complete off state it has to be in sleep mode rather than completely off I think that could be a Windows thing but I'm not a hundred percent sure I never got to the bottom of it I do tend to sleep my PC a lot anyways so it doesn't really matter for me so hopefully you enjoyed this video it's my first video to edit using resolve so that's something new and also I was just conscious about getting back on the horse a little bit because it's been a while since my last video and I've got a new PC in the meantime and I needed to set that up and just wanted to get something out there and hopefully you enjoy this but that's it for me if you have any questions I'd love to hear about them in the comments and I'll see you next time thanks